Praise the Lord, dear friend, Thomas Manton IV, coming to you with a report on prophecy fulfillment. You know, many of you know I have prophes I had prophesied the lockdown must end, as the Lord said, this lockdown will soon end. You know, and I said that in May, and the warfare was so great, they tried to extend it and extend it, but the pressure from heaven was coming, and the Lord began to speak that's saying that heaven is against this thing and he's going to crush it. Well, today, uh, this morning, President Uhuru Kenyatta in Kenya made a major announcement to the nation that the lockdown is ending as of today. And within a week, domestic travel will come back, um, the trains and the planes, I believe, the planes, and international within a couple of weeks. And they just decided to keep the curfew at night. You know, they don't want night trawlers, crawler creeps, creeping, <laughs> whatever people do at night. Uh, from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m., which is no big deal. You know, it's kind of normal. So that's just uh, this next month cycle. But for all intents and purposes, all the businesses will open back up. The hotels, the restaurants the air travel, the, the shops, the businesses, the offices, the government offices, the business offices, etc. Enough is enough. So if you're in Kenya, give the Lord a big shout right now. You know, I don't have to do it for you. I like a corporate effort of people extending energy, so I'm not going to be the one to shout and scream right now. Hey, glory. Uh, although we're giving God praise for this. The lockdown is ending now as the Lord has had me declare I don't know of anyone else that said that you know it's amazing to have a unique ministry and I was just talking with a government official uh, uh, today had a meeting uh, and the Lord you know just reminded me of several things I had prophesied the Lord said in Kenya impunity will end so that the next generation could be raised up in a new beautiful Kenya, in a new beautiful nation. You need to also shout for that in Jesus' name. Uh, again, I didn't prepare long for this broadcast. I've had a very busy day and I just had to come on today. When the announcement was made today, we can do more broadcasts, more extended, uh, expanded and extended things and details of more. But had to come on and say it now and give God some praise. For what he's done the lockdown's been a mess for people people starving hurting suffering broke money how do you how do you when you're living you know time to time cycle to cycle paycheck to paycheck or cash to cash and all of a sudden it just ends one day what do you do someone that does some uh, work for me they were uh, laid off by their their company which is a big hotel and that's where they work full time. And they just got told unpaid leave for a month. And when I saw them again, you know, I gave them something for <laughs> they were doing laundry, uh, some laundry for me. And and I just they just walked away like in a stag staggering position. They're messed up. The person is messed up. I felt bad. I felt, oh, God, you know. You know, I pay you what we agreed for, but what else can I do? I can't sort your whole life. But it's painful. It's painful when someone loses their livelihood. Many business people, I've been praying with them all month, and, and two, three months now. And the Lord, the Lord said that supernaturally he's going to fund people that are his. He's doing it for me. And there's a separation between the men and the boys, the kings and the peasants and the queens and the you know if I could say it in a cheeky way like that you know heaven will fund supernaturally when there was really no other way and I have a testimony you know like sometimes when 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 calamity strikes my well-being goes up it's always been like that it's always been like that I've, I can testify uh, if I had time many more other times where that happened too. One time something was going on and I wasn't preaching for a few minutes and 
and and what came to me was more than all combined and even the greatest meetings we ever had to god be the glory he's jehovah jireh so supernaturally please do look for the lord to uh fund you to help you but this thing about everything being frozen and locked down by some invisible virus which is it's a bit of pandemic, people. A pandemic, not a pandemic. If millions of people really died, you'd say, "Well, it's really a situation." But it was, it was used. It was a setup. It was. Yeah, I could say a lot about that. We have all the intel and the details on how this thing was brought forth. And but to God be the glory. Just wanted to come and give God some praise and announce to everybody that the lockdown in Kenya is ending officially now. And, of course, there's a couple of cycles with the curfew will completely end uh, after a few weeks. But the air travel will come back now. Uh, the city has been opened. Glory to God. Mombasa and Nairobi have been opened. They were quarantined, you know, by roadblocks around the city. Couldn't travel throughout the country, in or out, for the last two months, has it been? And that is ending right now, from today uh, they're going to take away the roadblocks and open the cities again, and there'll be unrestricted travel to and fro as much as you want to go. Uh, but I think you still have to be indoors by 9 p.m. What are you going to do? But that's going to end too soon. So the, officially the lockdown is ended, ending. And to God be the glory that he had me prophesy that. You know, I don't, again, I don't recall anyone else. Why did God take an American and send them out to the nations as his prophet to the nations and send them to Africa and all these other parts of the world to prophesy these, these amazing things? I don't know anyone else that said anything like that. I've never heard it anywhere. The lockdown will end when it's hot and everything's locked and nobody knows the future. But God uses his prophet to speak. What an amazing thing. So to God be the glory. By the way, I have an update. Uh, the e-books are ready. They were being done. And if you're a partner with the ministry, you can have the benefits of excellence or the Lord's success. And you can remind me of that on my WhatsApp, which is on the thing here. But, uh, or send me a direct uh, message here on this uh, social media platform. Or you can write me. Uh, however, you see the different things there. You can become a partner and so. I want to challenge every one of my people and friends in Kenya to sow a seed by M-Pesa, which is 0792-320-780. We have another number, 0706, which are direct, um, very safe, direct. 0706-164-191. And those will be in the heading of the title of this message and also in the comments. Just to give God thanksgiving for his prophetic voice but with expectation of a harvest, that what I, what I was talking about, Jehovah Jireh, is going to be real to you. The El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, the Father who sees our future and will see to it that it happens. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Jireh. Supernatural financial uh, flows and breakthroughs for you, my precious friend and partner. And I've been praying all these weeks intensely, uh, this lockdown time has been good in the realm of prayer and just being caught away with the Lord. I've been in it for, for many weeks, many, many weeks, a few months, and uh, it's just glorious. So uh, many results are about to happen, and you that are connected with me, the Lord is really going to begin to bless. Watch it happen in Jesus' name. Celebrate the Lord with a love gift. And if you want to do by Cash App or PayPal or through the website thomasmanton.com or by M-Pesa, all of our friends in Kenya. Uh, again, the numbers are on the heading and in the comments here. I love you much. I'm praying. I'll come back with more. And I just wanted to say Kenya is going to be a beautiful country. Uh, impunity will end. The lockdown is ending now. You see businesses coming back. It's going to get very strong. The economy is going to blast through. And you are going to blast through in your financial life and in great success. I'm your prophet. I'm your pastor. I'm your mentor. I'm your coach. I'm your team leader. I'm your kingdom uh, 
prophetic voice. I am saying this to you. I love you and I'm praying for you. And know that you have a friend and a pastor here who loves you much. I look forward to seeing you soon now that everything is being opened. And we're going to have some meetings, announcements, events. We're going to be letting you know. But do write me in the meantime and celebrate the Lord with a love gift for his world mission prophetically here in Jesus' name. Love you much. And uh, I'm praying for you. Isaiah 48, 17, when he said, I am the Lord your God. He'll teach you to profit and lead you in the way you should go. No other way but the way God wants you to go. And God has a big, big plan for you and big, big blessings for you and big favor for your success. In Jesus' name, love you much. We'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Thomas Manton IV, rejoicing and saying, thank God the lockdown is ending. Now it's done. In Jesus' name, prophecy fulfillment, another one. Glory be to God forever. And we celebrate you, Lord, for what you're doing. In Jesus' name. I also decided to start taking communion more so. And I will explain that. I don't have time now, but I will explain that. Um, we'll have a little communion service. I think we need to do that also online. So look for that. Love you much. Talk to you again on the next broadcast. Pew. Make it a great day.